Hey there folks, back at you with another video. Gonna work on the 79 Chevy K20 with the Cummins swap. Today we're gonna be installing a grid heater and I'm gonna take you with me on how I do that. So please like and subscribe, it helps the channel out a lot, don't cost nothing. Let's get past your intro, let's get into this. Alright, well, it's winter time and I don't really drive this truck in the winter all that much, but um, I do a little bit once in a while. Uh, when there's not salt, when there's no salt on the road, I just drive this truck. Um, but I like to have a grid heater, so I already get started on it a little bit, uh, just to see where I want to have stuff laid out and whatnot. So here we go. Um, there's the grid heater right there and I use the old wiring off a Ford 73 for the glow plug solenoids uh, glow plugs and glow plug solenoid that's what I use for this here so that comes in uh, as one wire as you can tell and then splits off uh, for your glow plugs and um, but now I'm using that to heat up uh, the grid so and this one here um, they have two two grids you got one on the top right here and then there is another one underneath it so that's why you got two posts so I'm gonna hook them up both and like I said the 7-3 wiring um, the, for the glow plugs that wire uh, that comes automatically split off like that so I figured that would be perfect and then I've got the 7 uh, Ford 7.3 glow plug relay that I'm using for this. That way I basically just have to run one wire because with the original Dodge setup, uh, you got two wires and two solenoids and I didn't want to do all that. I just wanted to have one big solenoid and just uh, go that way. Uh, these smaller posts here, I'm gonna use that to uh, activate the solenoid with a push button in the cab uh, we'll show you all that um, I do have a push button for it watch out John and we're gonna install that somewhere up in uh, somewhere up in here so when you're sitting in the cab you just push your butt push your button with your finger um, let me see if I can find it. Oh, right here. That's all it is. That will activate the solenoid. Um, so I already got these. Um, I got these ends on there. I already made those on there. I'll put those on there. And now I'm going to run the other wire. I'm going to run it from here onto the battery. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Um, I still had a bunch of these laying around, um, but they are a little too small, so I got to make them a little bigger. I um, already got one done. So we're just going to make them a little bigger, and then I'm going to, I'm going to take this uh, the red coating off. Uh, just use some heat shrink done the same thing right there so I'll show you how I do that so let, let us let me get you set up right here I just use this right here and yeah I can go to the store and buy a new one but ah uh, Sorry. And we'll just keep going around and around. Make sure we keep it nice and round. Oh, 
I'll check it. No, it needs a little more. Close, yep, we're getting close. And just take your time. It's like a glove, nice and snug. Now we gotta cut the end off right here. There you go. This one is for the ground. We're going to put that on here, right here. But I want to do the same thing. I don't have to make this hole bare. So I'll do the same thing. Cut that doggone sleeve off. Yeah, you got to watch your fingers. There's that. Oh yeah. So now this wire is just a hair too big, so let's so get me one of these, just a punch. Look at that. Just widen it up a little bit. I'm gonna grab my crimper right here. Takes a little extra force. Well, look at that. Crimped on there nice and tight. And grab ourselves a little chunk of heat shrink. Slip that over that. Look at that, just beautiful. So that's the ground wire that goes on the back of the grit right there. And then we'll loop it around and it will go, give me one second here, I'll show you. So that goes back there. 
and then we'll loop it around from there and I will uh, hook it up in uh, one of these bolts right here where the air intake goes I just took that off and out of the way for the time being so got this little wire done like I said I ran this one already so I'm gonna do it real quick um, I'll get that done real quick and I'll be right back all right so like I said we got this wire from the battery positive hooked up to this side of the solenoid and from here we go underneath the injection pump and we'll come back up right here I hooked up the ground right there I just ran that bolt in there real quick and I hooked up a jumper wire right there and then I've got another makeshift one here and we're going to check and see if the solenoid works so here we go you'll hear it clicking that's the solenoid engaging you see the heat coming off of it mm -hmm. oh yeah that's nice and hot boys very hot uh huh Toast the chicken on that, huh, John? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So now, so we tested all that. So we know that works. Now we're going to run the wire uh, from the push button to here, and uh, uh, we need to have we need to drill an extra hole right there. Hold it. So yeah, I think that's going to work. All right, uh, I'm going to start running the wires, and uh, when I get close, I'll come back and uh, pick you guys up and show you what I've done. All right, be back in the gym. All right, so we've got a ground right here. I made sure I cleaned it all uh, good, uh, cleaned up nice and good right there. So ran that as a ground. Here's my hot wire coming out of the cab. It goes through the firewall over there. And then um, comes through here. Uh, there's not a lot of room here, guys. So it comes through here to the switch. And then up in here. Uh, Jesus Christ, guys. Right there, it's fused right there that wire so I spliced it in right there to go to the switch and then from the switch to the solenoid and then at the solenoid it grounds on the frame so now turn the key on you hear that So now the grid heater works. Can you see the grid heater from there? There in a minute. Yep, you see the smoke coming off of it right there? So now there's a lot of heat coming off the grid heater right there, so let me turn the key off. So yeah. So I had a fusible link right there. Ran it through the switch to the switch from the switch to the solenoid. This is ground out right here to the frame to complete the circuit. And then this one here comes straight from the battery. And then this one here goes underneath the injection pump. Yep, point at it again, John. Right there. And then from on the back side, um, that is the ground, and that gets bolted up right there where the air intake is going to be. So, yeah. <coughs> so, 
that's how I did that. It's fused and everything else. So, yeah, that's how I hook up my grid, uh, my grid heater for the 59 Cummins in this '79 Chevy K20. Huh, John? Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. Don't cost nothing. And the only thing I got to do now is loom this up, finish it up a little bit, tighten it up. Uh, install the switch itself give it a good spot and that's it so yeah please like and subscribe it helps the channel out a lot don't cost nothing and we're going to catch y'all on the next one peace out, peace out.